SpaceX just exposed Russia's $67 million disaster. Mystery glue, 60-plus criminal cases, rockets falling apart, yet they claim to build space weapons? Elon reveals the shocking truth behind Russia's collapse from space superpower to begging China for help. The real reason will blow your mind. Let's dive right in. Here's the bombshell SpaceX discovered that sent shockwaves through the entire aerospace industry. February 2021, Russia launches Progress MS-16 to the International Space Station. Mission critical supplies, routine operation. What could go wrong? Everything. The spacecraft couldn't dock automatically. Russian ground control frantically took manual control, guiding it in like a drunk pilot trying to land a plane. The navigation system was completely fried. But here's where it gets absolutely insane. The protective covering literally peeled off the rocket mid-flight, like cheap paint on a rusted car. The culprit? Mystery glue from an unknown supplier that nobody can trace. Get this. The contractor, KX Limited Joint Stock Company, doesn't even manufacture their own adhesive. They buy it from some random supplier, but here's the kicker. They have zero documentation, no quality certificates, no origin records, no expiration dates, nothing. Russia is launching billion-dollar rockets with garage sale quality control. But wait, it gets worse. This wasn't a one-time disaster. The exact same glue failure destroyed progress. MS-13, inner MS-14, and MS-15. Four consecutive failures with mystery adhesive, and Russian officials did absolutely nothing. This is when SpaceX realized they weren't competing with a space superpower. They were watching a house of cards collapse in real time. But the glue scandal was just the tip of the iceberg. While Russian officials were threatening space weapons, SpaceX's industry intelligence uncovered the real story. Since 2019, over 60 criminal investigations launched against Russian space companies. The stolen amount? More than 5 billion rubles, $67.7 million vanished from their own space program. Think about this madness. Russia's entire annual space budget could fit inside SpaceX's quarterly coffee budget. And they're hemorrhaging millions to their own contractors while trying to compete with Elon Musk. Here's the pattern that shocked industry insiders. Russian space contractors routinely miss deadlines, deliver broken hardware, and pocket government money like it's Christmas morning. The Krunichev Center was supposed to deliver 10 booster cores five years ago. Only five showed up, and they're still waiting for the rest. But here's what made SpaceX executives' jaws drop. Roscosmos leadership knew about the systematic theft and did nothing. From 2019 to 2021, 20% of all government space contracts were either delayed or completely abandoned. One in five projects. Total failure rate. Imagine if SpaceX failed to deliver every fifth rocket. They'd be bankrupt within months. Yet Russian officials kept approving contracts with the same criminal networks, creating what industry experts now call the fraud-friendly ecosystem. And this was just the financial corruption. The technical dependency was even more shocking. SpaceX's competitive analysis revealed Russia's most vulnerable secret, something so embarrassing that Russian officials tried to hide it for years. Every single Soyuz rocket and spacecraft depends on highly refined hydrogen peroxide that Russia cannot produce domestically. The supplier? A German company called Evanik Resource Efficiency GmbH. One phone call, one sanction order, and Russia's entire human spaceflight program dies instantly. As one leaked Russian space document put it, the West can stop Russian space launches with a single keystroke. While SpaceX manufactures everything in-house, from engines to electronics to fuel, Russia depends on NATO countries for basic rocket chemistry. This isn't just about hydrogen peroxide. This reveals the deeper strategic catastrophe. Russia talks about weaponizing space while begging Germany to keep their civilian rockets running. The irony is staggering. They threaten to destroy Western satellites while depending on Western suppliers to launch their own. But the numbers that SpaceX was tracking told an even more devastating story. Here's what really caught SpaceX's attention. The launch data that proves Russia isn't just losing, they're being absolutely crushed. 
In 2022, Russia managed 20 satellite launches. SpaceX alone launched 61 Falcon 9 missions. The entire U.S. space industry over 1,700 satellites. That's not competition. That's a massacre. But the numbers get more brutal. Russian launch reliability has collapsed. Multiple Soyuz failures, progress disasters, and their flagship Angara rocket can't maintain any consistent schedule. Meanwhile, SpaceX achieved something Russia never could, routine rocket reusability. Russian rockets cost over $80 million per launch and blow up after one use. SpaceX's reused Falcon 9 costs around $50 million with higher reliability than anything Russia has ever built. The cost differential is obliterating Russian competitiveness. International customers who relied on Russian launches for decades are fleeing to SpaceX. Russia's commercial launch revenue has crashed by over 60% since 2019. Here's the stat that shows Russia's complete desperation. They're now begging to join China's lunar program as a junior partner. The country that put the first human in space is literally asking for permission to sit at China's table. But then came the geopolitical revelation that changed everything. Early 2024, U.S. officials panic about Russian space-based weapons that could destroy American satellites. Congress goes into overdrive. Military contractors start salivating. Ukraine aid packages get approved instantly. But industry experts like Elon Musk saw straight through the smokescreen. Russia has been talking about space weapons since 1968, talking being the operative word. They've never demonstrated functional anti-satellite weapons, and given their quality control disasters with basic adhesives, sophisticated space weapons seemed laughable. Think about this logically. If Russia can't track the origin of their rocket glue, how are they building precision satellite killers in orbit? Some U.S. senators, including Mark Warner, quietly admitted the space weapon warnings were partially tied to Ukraine funding debates. Classic Washington manipulation turned technical assessment into political theater. This doesn't mean Russia isn't trying to develop space weapons, but SpaceX's analysis suggests Russia's space weapon program is probably as dysfunctional as everything else. Big promises, zero delivery, maximum corruption. While Russia was making threats they couldn't back up, SpaceX was systematically capturing every market they once dominated. While Russia's space program imploded under corruption and sanctions, SpaceX methodically captured every single market Russia once controlled. Remember when Russia was the only way to get astronauts to the International Space Station? SpaceX's Crew Dragon ended that monopoly in 2020. Commercial satellite launches? SpaceX now dominates with faster turnaround and lower costs. Government contracts? SpaceX handles everything from NASA missions to classified military deployments. International partnerships? Countries that relied on Russian rockets for decades are signing exclusive contracts with SpaceX. But here's where it gets really interesting. SpaceX isn't just replacing Russia's capabilities. They're redefining what's possible in space. Russia's best rocket, the Angara A5, can lift 24 tons to orbit. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy lifts 64 tons for less money. And then there's Starship, SpaceX's next-generation monster designed to carry 100-plus tons to orbit and transport humans to Mars. Russia has no equivalent in development, no plans, no funding. While Russian engineers debate whether they can build a lunar base with Chinese assistance, SpaceX is planning entire Mars colonies. The gap isn't just widening, it's becoming unbridgeable. But the final revelation changes everything we thought we knew about Russia's space program. Never as strong as we thought. Here's the industry secret that rewrites space history. SpaceX's investigation revealed that Russia's space decline started decades ago, hidden by Soviet propaganda and Cold War secrecy. The corruption, quality control disasters, and foreign dependencies? These aren't recent problems. They're systematic weaknesses that the Soviet system covered up and the Russian Federation inherited like a genetic disease. The evidence is overwhelming. The same bureaucratic incompetence plaguing today's Russian space program existed in the 1980s. Same contractor networks, same lack of oversight, same corner-cutting mentality that prioritizes appearance over performance. What changed? Companies like SpaceX exposed the gap between Russia's reputation and reality. 
When you can launch rockets faster, cheaper, and more reliably than a supposed space superpower, it reveals the superpower was mostly smoke and mirrors. The mystery glue scandal wasn't an isolated incident. It was a symptom of systemic rot that's been eating away at Russian space capabilities for over 40 years. So here's the question that should terrify Moscow. If Russia's space program has been this dysfunctional for decades, what does that say about their other advanced military technologies? Are their hypersonic missiles built with the same mystery components and corrupt oversight? Are their nuclear submarines maintained by the same contractors who can't track basic adhesive supplies? SpaceX didn't just expose Russia's space program collapse. They may have revealed the weakness at the heart of Russia's entire military-industrial complex. So there you have it. SpaceX didn't just expose Russia's $67 million scandal. They revealed decades of hidden weakness behind Cold War propaganda. Mystery glue, criminal contractors, begging Germany for fuel. The space superpower was a house of cards. But here's what keeps me up at night. If Russia's space program has been broken for 40 years, what else are they hiding? Military submarines, hypersonic missiles, nuclear arsenal, all built with the same corrupt oversight? This isn't just about rockets. When private companies outperform entire nations, we're witnessing a new world order. What do you think? Are we seeing the end of nation-state dominance in space? Drop your thoughts below. I read every comment. If this blew your mind, wait until you see what China's planning for Mars. That story changes everything about the space race. I'm Space Corps. Thanks for watching.